The cost of two scrubs is a lot less than failure, says NASA, after aborting the launch of Artemis 1 twice within a week. NASA's latest mission to the moon remained a non-starter on Saturday as the rocket developed a large fuel leak hours before the second launch attempt. The U.S. Space Agency plans to go back to the moon after half a century. However, it will have to wait a little longer to execute its plan. NASA's 32-story giant SLS rocket that was supposed to launch the first elements of the mission developed a large fuel leak on Saturday. NASA found the leak to be unmanageable and hence aborted the launch. A different leak in the fuel line led to the abortion of the first launch on the 29th of August. However, the manager of Artemis Missions says that the leak was still manageable. After reviewing the data from the latest complications, the U.S. Space Agency concluded that the leak was too tricky and time-consuming to fix. Moreover, the current launch period expires on Tuesday, and the Artemis team has put the launch off the table in this period. Now, NASA is yet to fix the date of its next launch attempt. So we launch period 25 is definitely off the table. We won't be launching, uh, you know, our, this period ends on Tuesday. We will not be launching uh, in this launch period. Um, launch period 26 and 27 will really depend on the options that the team comes back with likely on Monday uh, or early Tuesday morning. NASA says the next launch period opens between the 19th to the 30th of September and then again in October. So the launch isn't happening anytime soon. In the meantime, the spacecraft will be rolled off the launch pad back to its assembly building. Troubleshooting existing issues with the rocket will continue. Just remember, we're not going to launch until it's right. And that is standard operating procedure and will continue to be. The present question that the latest development raises is how would the two consecutive last minute setbacks affect the long term schedule of the Artemis mission? Now, here's NASA's official response to this. Listen in. Um, how does this pushback affect the timeline of the Artemis program as a whole? Uh, we are still planning uh, Artemis 2 in 2024 and Artemis 3 in 25. NASA will release more details on what it plans to do next in the coming days. We will keep you posted with the updates. Now, uh, for more on this, we are being joined by Dr. Amita Bagosh from Kolkata. Dr. Amita Bagosh is a space scientist working uh, with uh, NASA on the Mars mission since 1997. Dr. Gosh, thank you for being with us on this broadcast. Now, firstly, take thank us you. through the, sig the significance of this first mission for Artemis One. The significance is huge. You know, we have been kind of not going anywhere outside of Earth for 50 years. So, you know, um, in 1969, everybody thought that, well, okay, we landed on the moon, and now in the 70s, we are going to go to Mars, we are going to go back and set up a base, but none of that happened. So the significance is that we are finally all set to go back to another heavenly body instead of, you know, we were essentially stuck at the space station, which is just 210 miles from Earth, about. So this is a huge deal that we are, this new genre of space exploration is going to happen. Essentially, there's going to be multiple trips on the moon, and then we are going to, at some point, try to go to Mars. Right. And Doctor, the mission has been aborted for the second time in a week. Now, this time, during a due to a fuel leakage. Uh, this has been an, an issue before, caused the first delay. What has happened? Take us through the details here. So I would say, see, I, I think you heard a little bit in the press conference and the NASA administrator talking. So here I would say there is too much focus on this being aborted twice um, scenario. So let me take you through through this. Say, say on Earth, you're, you're designing a car. 
So you go to the concept and then you design a car and then you build the car. And then before you hand over the keys to the first customer, there's a huge amount of testing that happens. So if you do this and you project it to the, to the SLS, the Space Launch System, this has been going on for, the development was going on for 10 years and it's probably more than $10 billion. So you really want to get everything right, right and not get tied into a very artificial schedule that will this week, next week. Um, so I think they're trying to go through, and this is standard operating procedure as the NASA administrator just said, um, for everything. So, so we, when we had the web telescope launch, uh, when during the development of the web telescope, there are always issues because you're trying to do something new and something non-standard and something difficult. And so there is no rush to really uh, fast forward this launch period. See, if this mission, this program last 10 years, what would a few days what a few days make a difference? That, that's that's where, how you, you should look at it. Right. And uh, what are the latest details that you can share on what NASA plans to do uh, in the coming days? And uh, when are we expecting the new launch date to be? Will it be in the next uh, uh, date in September? And uh, will there be any knock-on effect or delay to the future missions? So I think uh, by Tuesday, as, as the administrator said, you will have a better indication after the engineers have gone through the scenarios. And so then they'll announce maybe it's going to be October, maybe it's going to be September. To the delay to the overall schedule, I think there's going to be, this is a marginal one, one two month thing. So I don't think there will be a delay. The more important thing is you, we are testing this in the, with no crew. So there are no human beings on this spacecraft. We need to really um, do the testing right so that in two years, in 24 or 25, there's going to be a crew and it's going to be safe. So that is the whole goal. So will there be a few months, few days, maybe no delay? It's very tough to say, but the ultimate objective is the same, which is a flying crew and landing humans on the moon. Absolutely. Dr. Gosh, thank you very much for being with us on this broadcast and all your valuable insights there. Absolutely a pleasure. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.